Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television GPTV. I'm Brett. In my hands is the Antifa Super Soldier Cookbook, put out by Silver Sprocket and done uh, created by Matt Lukchansky, who did the writing and the art. Um, this is a, a really funny graphic novel. I did a, a written review of it, but you know, Silver Sprocket was nice enough to send me a physical copy, and I, I really wanted to do a video of it as well. Uh, so this is some solid political satire and kind of skewers a little bit of everything from the right and the left. Um, so the story involves a guy named Max Marx, who is uh, kind of ex who's accepted into the Antifa Super Soldier Program, uh, shadowy organization, and he goes up against Paul, Sergeant Paul O'Shea, who's part of the Big City PD, and wants to, of course, stop Antifa. Um, you know, everyone clashes, and, and it's just it's a good satire that just really just it nails everything. Um, you know, makes fun of the cops, makes fun of Antifa, or not really makes fun of Antifa, but, like, sends up the concept of Antifa so over the top, like, it, it's hard not to laugh. I mean, it really does take, like, the stereotypes of each and just dials it up to, to 11. Um, and that's exactly what I want from from the sort of satire. And it's it's funny. It's really, really funny. Uh, you know, the, the moments are, are kind of all over the place. You've got... You know, comments about like milkshakes or cement milkshakes. Uh, they try to you know shut down a speaker at a college. Uh, you've got a cop going undercover and you know doing the like what's up you know what's up young kids or whatever the meme is with with um, um, you know a older person going into the school. Um, it's it's just it's good. It's really really good and, and funny. Uh, and you know the, the great is that there's some truth to it. And that there's there's things that are mentioned about you know authorization things that the cops have access to and they're all based on true things. So you know there there's as with all satire there's a, a, a kernel of reality it's based off of and it's just exaggerated uh, to the extreme. Um, and you know where it kind of goes is a uh, is funny and fun and I kind of want to see everything like. It's just, it's so over the top and just really, really funny. You could easily see an entire world made uh, of this. Um, you know, like, simple things of, like, the, the Antifa, um, the board is made up of Plucky, which is just a version of, of Gritty, uh, billionaire mega donor Geller P Pataki, president of Antifa, there's the Democratic Party, and then the real racist. Um, it's just... It's great, like, you know, it's one of those things that, you know, me, so deep into politics and all that, like, it's kind of hard not to read this and laugh. Um, and the funniest is just so much of it is, like, exaggeration and, like, not far off of just the insanity that you see thrown around online. Um, and, and it's funny, is like I've said to people who, who do satire a lot, like, how are you able to pull that off, like, with, in a world that's just so over the top? Um, and this pulls it off. Like I, I can't imagine it's an easy thing to do right now because there's just so much insanity out there. Uh, but this does a really, really solid job. Um, you know, the the art is is good. It, like it kind of adds to the humorous, quirky sense of it all. Um, I'm trying to like kind of gives a sense of both sides on that. You can see the cops. You can see Antifa. Um, Speeches by the cops, the big city PD, uh, and you know it's it's just one of those like you, you got to be able to laugh at this sort of stuff. Like it's some solid satire, and um, you know I, I really kind of hope we see more of this. Like I'd love to see Matt do some more uh, of this series, maybe expanding out of it, giving us some more volumes, stuff like that. Like it uh, it got me to laugh. It got me to laugh a lot, and you know there's some things that just hit really close, uh, and uh, you know. It's it just it's just solid satire. Like I, I liked it. I really liked it. So um, if you you know you go and you read right wing um, conspiracies about Antifa and kind of laugh and roll your eyes, like this is a graphic novel to check out and for you. Um, it just I think it takes all those rumors and like strange beliefs and just dials it up to to a point. It's kind of hard not to laugh. Uh, so out now, you can go get it. We'll have some links underneath this video. Um, I think you can get this in comic shops. Got a link beneath this video where you can put in your zip code, tell the shops near you. Uh, no shop, we'll of course have our usual links.
Some might be affiliate links. If they are, we do get a small percentage by doing that. It helps support our site. Of course, I want to thank Silver Sprocket for putting us up with a review copy. We appreciate that as always, and thank you for watching. Now, if you're into graphic novels, if you're into comics, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. So until next time, keep reading those comics, and keep a geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.